Hello and welcome back to Freddy and Friends. Today we are watching The Black Phone. I'm so excited. Not only because I haven't seen this movie, but because this is my first ever movie reaction on this channel. I've wanted to do this for quite some time, but I've held off because movie reactions are definitely going to be harder because they're longer, so harder to edit, and copyright. I I will not be shocked if I ran into copyright with this. So just for warning, if somehow I'm able to get this up, if you see a slight blur over the footage, that's because of copyright. That's helped me with copyright before, so if I have to use a blur, then I'll have to use a blur. Hopefully not. Normally with reactions, I try to stay, with the footage, I try to stay like at least 10 minutes, even if it's 9 minutes, 59 seconds. But since it's a movie, it's definitely not going to be 10 minutes. I've checked and it's like an hour, 40 something minutes. That's not bad, to be honest. So, and instead of 10 minutes for this, I'm going to try 20. I'm going to try not to go above 20. But yeah, just a little forewarning. If you see a slight blur of the footage, it's to, avo it's to avoid copyright. Because I'm not going to be shocked if I get copyright issues with this. So hopefully, if I do, the blur helps. Um... But yeah, I did a poll a little while ago, and the black phone won. I guess it's that good. I remember, I don't really know much about this film. All I know, I did see the trailers for it when it first came out, but that was like three years ago. I haven't really, apart from the trailers I saw, I don't really know anything about this movie. I do know that Ethan Hawke plays the bad guy. Other than that, I know nothing, so I'm going into this blind. But yeah, this won the poll, so... <sighs> now that I'm starting movie reactions, especially to horror movies, for those who don't know, horror movies are my, they're my thing. My favorite genre, I love horror movies. I do get scared during horror movies, so if I scream or do anything, I'm sorry. That's why I love horror movies. I love them, even if they do scare the crap out of me. That's why I, that's why I love them. They're scary. I love scary movies. So I have no idea how scary this one is. But I've seen lots of reactors post reactions to it, so it must be good. I mean, especially since it won the poll, because I did, what did I do? I did Megan, Hereditary, which I've heard very good things about, and Us, which I've also heard very good things about. But this one won, so... Must be really good. Like I said, I don't know what to expect. But I'm ready to be scared. <laughs> Oh god, it's Blumhouse. Their movies are usually pretty creepy. Yay! What's happening? Is he gonna get hit by a car? Okay. Damn, so... So our villain... What do we call him? The black phone killer? So he kidnaps children and... Kills them? Like, is that what he's called? The black phone killer? Or something? I don't think they can hear you up in the ball. Damn, okay. Wait, oh my god, that's Balder! I recognize that voice anywhere. That's Balder from God of War. Then do it. Unless you're scared. Ooh, fighting words. Oh, damn! Oh, damn. That's... Holy shit. Ooh. He really said no mercy. Cobra Kai style. No mercy. Same. Damn. 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 Okay. 
Even the papers call him a grabber. The Which grabber. So, so that's what you the guy's called, the grabber? Because he grabs yeah. children, kidnaps he can, he them? He can't carry you. He doesn't really take kids that safe. I know that. Finny. I said I know. Then say it. No. Are you chicken? I don't know. I don't know. The inner core. Is That's the same van. The outer core is molten. From the from the beginning, when the they cut to the opening core, credits, it's the same van. So that's the grabber, definitely. Why would we do it's such a thing? Huh? See the sign? It says boys. Yeah, boys, not bags. Oh fuck you! Ooh, kick their asses. Dipshits, move. Hey, Finn. You saw what happened to the other guy, What's too. Happening? You know, just keep it on, keep it on, I guess. Uh huh. Who's got some damn sharp teeth? Knuckles let all first be. Mm hmm. Walk away. Wait. Walk away, you little shits. Fuck with Finn again. I fuck with you. I think I have to stand. You can leave now. I already love this character. Friday night, you seen it? That movie's radar. My dad would never take me to see that. My uncle takes me to the drive-in. We see everything. Oh my god. Oh, You're man. keeping out about horror that movies. Movie? I love this. It's the best. This is precious. Better than we also found one black balloon at the scene of Griffin Stagg's abduction. And we never released those details. So the black so balloons are like a calling card? Where did you hear about the balloons? I didn't. I'm gonna ask you again. How did you know about the balloon? This well, guy has a punchable face. Either there's a leak in the department or... Or what? I'm the grabber? No. You think I kidnapped Vance Hopper last spring? Is that it? Vance got held back twice. I've seen him fight. And trust me, he could kick the shit out of either of you blindfolded. When? Watch your Damn. Language. Yeah, I took him down because obviously I'm the grabber, you dumb fucking fart knocker. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Gwen. What aren't you telling us? I do think her dreaming that is going to come in handy, though. That's... Appetite gone. <laughs> Sir, you're watching a horror movie in the dark by yourself. I would never. Not in the dark. Oh, holy shit! You stay out of this! Okay, so the dad's a piece of shit, which was kind of implied at the beginning. Into my work. Why did the police come to my work? I don't know. I hate him so much. Investigation. Tell me what? What? Nothing. Huh? Nothing. What? Nothing. Hit me again, and I'm dropping it. Oh. You drop that and then we'll beat your ass to watch this hard. You're a piece of shit. I hope you die. <laughs> she just got fucked around. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he needs to go. And no ice on that bottom, young lady. Fuck I want you. you to think about what you did. You are a literal piece of shit. Dad? Fuck you! Now get out. I hope you fucking die. Oh, come on. This kid's gonna get taken. Don't go near the van. Don't go near the van. Turn around. Turn, 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 turn the fuck around. Oh, turn. He looks creepy. He's already blurred out. Turn the fuck around. Is he wearing a cape? Oh, but I like that kid. Of course I am. I'm gonna be delusional for a second and say, what if he's actually alive and the grabber hasn't killed him yet? And when he gets inevitably taken, they're gonna team up and kill the fucker. I'm being delusional, but let me be delusional. I know you can't just let him go because you don't interfere or whatever. I don't know the rules. But 
I love this if sibling you help duo. Them a dream or two, and just see something that could help the police, or me, or anyone find him, I would follow you forever. These siblings have my heart already. Amen. I don't know what's going on in here. No plan after the lights out. Sorry, Daddy. Go to sleep. Go fuck yourself. I love you. Oh, these fucking kids again. Oh my god, yes! I love her! Ooh! Siblings stick together. Oh, oh my god. You little shit. Get another rock. Get another rock. I hate these fucking children. All right, class. Oh. This is the day you've been dreading all semester. Now we're dissecting for all dissection. Huh. Your sister's really cool, though. Yeah, Gosh, she's fucking badass. Like oh god, it's gonna happen right now, isn't it? Here comes the van. Oh, it's a car. <laughs> Horror movies make me grow. Oh, look at that Did I say abracadabra? Oh, it's not. Walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away, run. Would you like to see a magic trick? No! Yeah. yeah. Watch, well, he's gonna be like, I'm gonna make this pencil oh, disappear. Yeah. Don't get in the band. Oh, oh my. What did he just spray? This guy is insane! Obviously, but like, he looks creepy. Number on my arm. I'm not gonna hold it against him. Is this some kind of fucked up story where he wants to be like the kid's daddy? They were even. You don't have to be scared because nothing bad is going to happen here. Okay. What do you want? For that I give my word, Johnny. You like soda? Hmm? I'll tell you what. I'm gonna go get you a soda. And then... Is that the phone? You hear a phone ring? No. You're the one who killed the others. Bruce. Robin. That wasn't me. That was someone else. What? I will never make you do anything that you won't... like. <laughs> if you try to touch me, I'll scratch your face. Hello? Hello? I feel like eventually someone's gonna answer. Ring. I'm just waiting for it. Oh, I thought it was his face. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> oh my. Somebody there? I need help. Speak. Hello. <laughs> Who the fuck was that? How do you know my name? We met once. 
Yeah. Your arm is mint. You almost had me. From the baseball game. Bruce. Bruce Yamada. for you. It rang, but none of us heard it. Just you. The grabber hears the phone too, but he doesn't want to believe it. So how come only he can get a phone? So I'm gonna assume this that Bruce is dead, obviously. So can the phone help Is it the is it the previous vic the ghost like the ghost of his previous victims? Did he just leave that door a little bit unlocked? <laughs> I was gonna say he did that on purpose. I delivered newspapers. Really? You're really so old. Maybe. No, you're really. Jesus. Oh. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Going back downstairs. Uh uh. He didn't kill the puppy, that's good. That is creepy as fuck. Uh -huh. Something's gonna happen, this is too easy. Definitely not getting up that way now. I, I, I just, I don't, I don't want that future for you, sweetheart. Do you understand? I still don't like you. Huh? You think they should ever can to see your neighborhood talking to residents and we're wondering how to Oh my god, it's deputy so and so. From Sinister. Yes, one and two. Uh, so we got Balder and deputy so and so. Come on, which is ironic, because he and Ethan Hawke were in Sinister together. Tell me your name. What do you care? I usually don't. I found out eventually in the paper they always print a nice big photo. So it makes Finny so special. Because they said that only Finny could hear the phone, right? The Apart from him, so what makes Finny special? What's different this time? Well, I mean, his sister has dreams, so it makes sense that he would have oh, some kind of ability it's too. Caleb. Tell Does he know his line? He already knows his name. It was a test. I was really starting to like you, Finny. I almost let you go. Ah, oh, he did it again. Like he wants them, want him to try to escape so he can punish him. Hello, Bruce, Billy, Paperboy. 
Well, that was rude. We need your help here. Oh god, we're gonna see something with the light. Waiting for this bitch to turn his head. Because he had a dog barking too. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. You say what fucking word? Damn it. And I will gut you like a pig right here in the street. Mm, you were so close. And strangle you with your own intestines. Ew. the dog barking I knew it was Max so Max is the grabber's brother but does Max know because he was like investigating so I'm gonna assume he doesn't Jesus, know what the fuck <laughs> I mean what the fuck do you even know who you are what the shit kind of question is that do you even know who you are I'm Finny Blake yeah well nice to fucking meet you Finny Blake right here this is it. This is what? The horrifying nightmare in for your pathetic little wife. Holy shit. Your friend's Hopper. I remember you. You used to scare me. Trust me, Finny Blake. If you knew what you had coming, you'd be fucking terrified. Today's the day, motherfucker! Okay, thank you. I want... Oh, oh. So did you just fucking kill this guy? Oh. Um. So how does that number help us? Maybe a street number? Or a house number?
Do you know who you are? I knew it was a house number. What did you do? What did you do? I'm getting to that cut lot. Where you have some other important shit you have to do right now. No, 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 no. I'm sorry, we're a little stressed because okay. we're close to dying, so. There's an outlet in the shooter across from the John. Yeah, I see it. On the other side of that wall, there's a storage room. You can't get into that room because there's a big ass upright freezer in the way. Okay. Break into the wall about two feet above the outlet until you get to a panel with screws. <clears throat> get the panel off. Oh, wait, that's him. <laughs> Thank you. For what? For helping me. Helping you? Is, is it about you? Fuck! <laughs> You're not gonna die, you're the main character. <laughs> I know it doesn't mean anything because not every main character in a horror movie survives, but. Oh, that fucking phone again! Tell me you're secretly alive. My man never leaves a friend behind. My dad didn't leave his buddies behind when we went to Nam. That's why I didn't come home. And I'm not coming home either. And I'm not going to leave you behind. What were you gonna hurt against him? Fuck that. You ain't gonna go like I did. I've tried everything. Okay, so he is dead. Yes. Fuck! Do you remember what I told you? I was wrong. Did I need to see Texas Chainsaw Massacre? That. Stand up for yourself? Someday I have to stand up for myself. Yeah. Back and swing. Again, you raise the We're ball. getting a fighting Take lesson from the grave. Step forward, step back, and swing. Again, you raise the ball. Take it back, step back. Step forward, step back, and swing. Again, you raise the ball. Take it back, step back. Step forward, step back, and swing. You got it. Now fill the phone with dirt like I told you. Will I still be able to talk with you? This was the last call, Finn. Saw you from here on out. I miss you, Robin. Then get out for me. This is rude. I, I wanted him you. to be alive. I will. Bye, Finn. Bye, Robin. Damn, that was sad. Ooh. Wait, they're gonna help. Okay, never mind. They're just gonna scare her off her bike. Okay, so they did help in a way. Open the door! Max, you can help get him out. Open the damn door! Stay, stay okay, good. Home. Can we can we keep us out? Hey, hey you wanna know the story about how I found you, man? Hey, no no no, don't worry about it. We can talk about this. Son of a bitch! <sighs> Time for you to die. Ooh! Oh! There we go, there we go. It's time for you to die, asshole. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Aw, you poor little mask. Keep going. Keep going. Strangle It's for you. Welcome to the nightmare end of your pathetic little life. <laughs> you don't have much time. <laughs> Today's the day, motherfucker. I can't kill you, you good puta. So Finn is gonna do it for me. Finn's arm is meant. Holy shit. 
That was good. I'm sorry, we had to kill your daddy. Yay, siblings reunited. <sighs> so are we just gonna end it right here? Have a happy ending? No, no jump scare ending. I'm a fan. Oh. oh, that's it? Okay. Okay. That was a really good movie. Honestly, I really enjoyed that. I didn't really know what to expect with this movie. But I liked it. Was it perfect? No. But I did enjoy it. It definitely wasn't the scariest movie like there were a few times where I jumped I jumped like two or three times in terms of scare factor it wasn't the scariest it was more suspenseful than scary but I really enjoyed it from a story perspective like I feel like some horror movies like are really 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 like, like insidious insidious to me the first one will always be fucking terrifying <laughs> like that was pure nightmare fuel. But I also, I also love the story of that one. But I feel like even if I may not necessarily find a, a horror movie scary, I don't think every horror movie is meant to ha be like, not every horror movie is meant to be like terrifying. Like, because there are some horror movies that even if they're not really scary scary, they could have a really fucking good story to them. And I, from a story perspective, I enjoyed the movie. I really enjoyed the movie. But there were still a few times that I jumped. So, they got me a few times. But the suspense level was pretty good too. So, even though it wasn't the scariest movie, I still enjoyed the story a lot, so... I can kind of see why this won the poll, because I really enjoyed it. Like, it's definitely... Like, it was entertaining the whole time, so I really enjoyed it. And then, what won second place? Oh, Hereditary. I've heard really good things about Hereditary. I don't know what that's about, but pff, I guess that'll be my second movie reaction. And then I forgot what third place, because it was after Hereditary, it was Us and Megan. I forgot what was third place. We'll have to go back and look. And then after those four, I don't know what I'll do next. I mean, it doesn't just have to be horror movies. It could be movies in general. I just figured it's it's Halloween, so it's horror. It's October, so I figured I'd start with horror movies. But yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. I the acting was really good. Ethan Hawke was actually really good. He was creepy, and the actor that played Fanny, he was really good too. And the actress that played his sister, she was really fucking good. I'm still sad that I was my theory was wrong. My theory was that Robin was going to be secretly alive and they were going to team up and take him down. I was wrong. Robin died. And now I'm sad. And I, I, I feel like I should have expected it, but I was like, let me be delusional for a second. And I was wrong, so I got sad. But it was satisfying watching him kill the grabber. He was a creepy fucking villain. Like in the black the black balloons were actually pretty cool. They were creepy, but they were kind of cool. See, I didn't know what to expect with the black phone itself. Not just the movie, but the black the actual phone. Because at first I was like, how does the phone itself come into play? So I liked finding out. Basically, every time it rang, you could hear the voice of his previous victims trying to help you. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't one of the kids that he talked to say that none of them could hear the phone, but Finney could? It makes me wonder, because we know his sister had an ability, like, her, her dreams ended up becoming real, so it makes me wonder if Finney also had some kind of ability, which is why he could hear the phone. Just correct me if I'm wrong, because I could have sworn one of the kids said that none of them could hear the phone until Finney. Oh my god, the fucking brother. I didn't suspect him at first, but once he tried to escape and we I heard, I heard the dog barking in that closet, I was like, 
didn't the didn't Max also have a dog that he put away somewhere? So it was like he's and then the grabber mentioned he had a brother, I think. I don't know. I think one of the kids mentioned it. So I was like, it's fucking Max, and I was right. So at least I got one theory right. And then I was like, is he gonna help us or is he gonna join? I, I didn't think he would join though, cause he was investigating. So I was like, okay, so he probably doesn't know. So he's been oblivious the whole time. And then he was helping us. So I was like, yay! But then once he was, was he was behind, I was like, fuck, you're dead. So his brother's been killing children for years and he had no idea. But at least he tried to help us. He tried to help Finny. I was also, I didn't know how they were going to end it. I was like, can we just end it on a happy note? And we kind of did. Because I, I don't know why, I thought we, even though he's dead, I thought we were going to get like a, like a, like a, because a lot of horror movies tend to have like that cliffhanger ending. I'm gonna just check real quick now that I'm finished. I wanna see. Are we getting a sequel? Because it would have to be with a different killer, because the grabber's dead. So. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, never mind. We are getting a sequel. And it's coming out next October. How are they gonna do that? Maybe like someone, a new killer takes up the grabber's mantra or mantle. So unless the grabber's secretly alive, but no, I don't, I don't think so. So yeah, I'm guessing someone like a new killer will take up the grabber's mantle. Like his, they'll find his mask in something. All I know is we're getting a sequel, so that's next year. So it'll, that'll be interesting to see. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed it. Was it perfect? No, definitely not the scariest. Although there were a few jump scares, but honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Like, I feel like it might sound dumb, but to me, not every horror movie needs to be absolutely terrifying, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, horror movies, they're gonna have some jump scares and suspense. But to me, not every horror movie needs to be absolutely spine chilling, if that makes sense. Because with horror movies, I also really like a good story. And this one, I like the story to this one. Like with, say, The Strangers. That one... <laughs> that one... Okay, that To be fair, The Strangers is kind of terrifying. Because mainly because it's just so suspenseful. And because it's kind of realistic. Because that's the kind of thing that would happen in real life. And then The Strangers sequel? That one's just pure entertainment. It's not really scary. At all. But it's so fucking strip prey at night that it's not really scary, but it's so fucking entertaining. And then I haven't seen the new Strangers. I've heard mixed things. I've heard some people that like it. I've heard the characters are kind of stupid. So yeah, overall I've heard mixed things about the new one, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to be like the first of a trilogy. So but yeah, I've heard mixed things about them. But that, yeah, the first two I like. The first one was creepy and suspenseful. The second one was just pure entertainment. <laughs> like, it's almost a comfort movie, as fucked up as it sounds, because it's just, it's not scary, but it's just so entertaining to watch. It's like the sibling duo, Kinsey, I stand. She's just so fucking good. But yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. Ethan Hawke, I'm not usually like a big Ethan Hawke fan, but... He was really creepy in this movie, in a good way. And I love that we got Deputy So-and-So in the movie from Sinister, which is ironic because they were both in Sinister together in the first one, because Ethan Hawke's not in the second one. So obviously with the sequel, we're going to have probably, I feel like it would be obviously a new person taking up his mantle for some reason. I don't know. Or maybe just a new killer altogether, because it's the black phone too, so obviously we gotta have another black phone. And then probably, I feel like it would be a new kid as the main character. Because I like the kids in this movie, but I feel like it would, I feel like they're gonna go with someone new.
Now the question is, will I run into copyright? I hope not. I don't think editing is going to be much of a problem. It was only like a little over an hour and a half, so... Norm like I said before, normally I try to keep under 10 minutes, even if it's like 9 minutes and 58 seconds. With this, I'm going to try no more than 20. If I have to go to 20, fine. But I'm going to try to do not more than 20. If I have to use a blur, I'll use a blur. It's just a slight blur, so it's not that bad. But hopefully we don't run into too many issues. And if not, this will officially be my first movie reaction. I'm kind of proud of this one. It's my first one. I've wanted to do this for years. But I've held off because it's it would be harder because it's a movie plus copyright would be a bigger issue. But I definitely want to start doing more. And I definitely I don't wanna I don't wanna do just horror movies. Like I think it's October, spooky month, so I'll start with a horror movie. <clears throat> I'm not sure. I know Hereditary won second place. Well, I, I might do that. I've heard very good things about that. I have. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Um. What else should I do? Like it could be anything. It could be a drama. It could be a comedy. It could be an action movie. It could be a thriller. Yeah, it could be anything. It could be a classic horror movie. Like if you. Okay. Oh my God. If you guys know any classic horror movies that you really love. Drop them in the comments for me. I don't know when I'll get to it, because there's a lot of classics that I haven't seen. Like, I haven't seen the original Alien. Don't kill me. I haven't seen that. I haven't seen Predator. Yeah, there's a lot of old horror movies that I haven't seen. Like, I have seen a lot, but there's still a lot that I haven't seen. So, it doesn't have to be classic horror movies, just horror movies in general. But drop them below. Because I'm sure there's a lot that I'd want to check out. Are there any new horror movies coming out that I could see that I'm not watching in theaters? The last horror movie I watched before this, new, that was new to me. Oh, Barbarian. I watched Barbarian like two months ago for the first time. That was, that was creepy, but it was so good. I kind of wish I'd reacted to that because that was a fucking creepy ass movie. But I'm glad I watched it because it was, it was really good. So... What other horror movies came out in the last few years that I haven't seen? Hmm. I don't know. I've seen all of Insidious. I've seen all the Conjuring. I've seen Sinister. There's a lot that I've seen, but there's also a lot I haven't seen. Maybe Saw? I've only seen the first one. But it was like a long time. It was like... How many years ago? I don't remember. They're stuck in like a bathroom, right? It's And Lee Winnell's in it. I know Lee Winnell because of Insidious and The Conjuring. But yeah, I've only seen the first Saw. I think, oh wait, no, I think I've seen the second one. I don't remember, it's been a while, but I've seen a few of the Saws. And I've seen all the Nightmare on Elm Streets and Screams and Friday the 13th and Halloween. So yeah, if you know any horror movies, just drop them below. I don't know when I'll get to any of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Let's just work on this one for now, because I'll probably get. To, I'll probably have some kind of copyright issue. If you see the video go up, that means I work through it. So, wish me luck. I don't think it's gonna be too bad, because like, this was only like a little bit longer than say a Game of Thrones episode, which would be an hour, literally an hour, because they don't have commercials. So, and this was like an hour and a half not counting the credits so that's not bad to be honest so I think I could do this not going over 20 minutes maybe like 16 18 we'll see I'll do my best and if I if I can't get past copyright I might have, I might have to shorten the, the footage yeah co copyright can be I had never done a movie reaction before so I don't know how bad it's gonna be but I promise I will do my best. Worst comes to worst, if I have to split it into two parts, I will. Because I know some people do that. I think that usually helps. But anyway, that was the black phone. I'm kind of happy. This is my first legit movie reaction. Like, 
I know I'm kind of a broken record because I keep saying it, but like this is, I've wanted to do this for so long and I finally did it. I'm kind of proud of myself. Like I'm actually kind of proud of myself. This was like a huge milestone for me. And it's kind of perfect and ironic because it's in the spooky season. Or my first reaction to a movie is a horror movie. In spooky season, it's kind of perfect. I'm really proud of myself that I did this. I'm not sure when this will be posted. I'm gonna try to edit it probably tomorrow. And then depending on copyright, I don't want to give a date as to when it'll go up because like I said, if I run into copyright, I don't know how long it'll take me to get through it. So, but I will, I'll try to edit it tomorrow and we'll see how things go. So wish me luck with the editing and the copyright. The editing might not be too bad, but the copyright, we'll see. I'm going to stop jinxing it. But anyway, that is it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for recommending this because this won the poll. Between four, four I'm, I'm actually, I was almost shocked. I thought Hereditary was going to win because I've heard amazing things about that. But it won second place, so. So thank you, thank you for recommending this movie to me because I really liked it. And if you like this reaction, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.